Adventurous kids explore with education and learning what a wildlife is in the Everglades. I want to explore the museum of discovery science. What plants do butterflies like? I want to know about Key West. Adventurous kids learning and fun. Adventurous kids. Today we're going to tell you about veggie burgers versus hamburgers. A veggie burger is a burger patty that does not contain meat or any such kind of meat. These burgers may be made from ingredients like beans, especially soybeans and tofu, nuts, grains, seeds, or fungi, such as mushrooms or mycoprotein. Using the name Garden Burger, an early veggie burger was developed by Paul Winner around 1980 or 1981 in Winner's Vegetarian Restaurant, the Garden House in Grisham, Oregon. Hamburger, also burger for short, is a food consisting of one or more cooked patties of ground meat usually beef, placed inside a sliced bread roll or bun. The patty may be pan-fried, grilled, smoked, or flame-broiled. Hamburgers are often served with cheese, lettuce, tomato, onion, pickles, bacon, or chiles. Condiments such as ketchup, mustard, mayonnaise, relish, or special sauce, and are frequently placed on sesame seed buns. A hamburger topped with cheese is called a cheeseburger. Veggie burgers, in general, you'll get less fat and calories and more fiber in veggie burgers than in their beef counterparts. The downside is veggie burgers are higher in sodium, although still in a moderate range, and lower in protein when you eat veggie burgers, you typically get three times less total fat and seven times less saturated fat when you eat average beef burgers. According to the American Dietetic Association, you also consume three to four grams of fiber, whereas beef burgers have no fiber. Nicole Cole certified clinical nutritionist and director of nutrition at Lifespan Medicine says nutrients in commercial vegetable burgers vary from brand to brand depending on the ingredient list. Veggie burgers normally contain fractions of soy protein, wheat, gluten, corn, derivatives, brands, vegetables, and many artificial ingredients. Hamburgers, if you want less sodium and more protein, you may opt for beef burgers rather than vegetable burgers. Beef contains essential nutrients such as B vitamins and minerals like iron and zinc. When you eat an unseasoned beef burger, you'll get five times less sodium than you would in a vegetable burger. According to the American Dietetic Association, you should have at least 20 grams of protein per meal. An average beef burger has 20 grams of protein, while a vegetable burger supplies between 5 and 12 grams of protein. Cole cautions that beef may also contain antibiotics, hormones, and toxins from chemicals on the feed. She advises buying organic, grass-fed beef to avoid full substances. If you have food allergies, commercially prepared veggie burgers may not be safe for you. They are processed foods and contain common food sensitivities such as soy, gluten, dairy, wheat, eggs, nuts, seeds, and corn. In addition, some of these foods may be genetically modified Choose meatless products without the most common allergens and pay close attention to nutrition labels. Who wins? 
Each burger has different pros and cons, but veggie burgers may be the healthier route. Plus, if you follow a religious belief, I'm not saying you would, but if you did, veggie burgers would be a good match. Attention though on veggie burgers or especially beef burgers. You eat both or one in moderation because having too much of one or the other is really bad for you. So eat in moderation. Thanks for watching this Adventurous Kids episode. Yeah, doggy. And...